Julia slept poorly. She had gone to bed as normal, but as she was drifting off to sleep she had turned over and looked at her ceiling. She noticed that her stars were still glowing, and glowing quite brightly. She wondered how long they would keep glowing before they ran out of energy. Her last thought before falling asleep was about maybe putting up a few new ones. Once she fell asleep, she kept having dreams about forgetting to put pants on and showing up at school in her diaper. In a second dream she found herself surrounded by faceless people who wanted to know why she was wearing a diaper. When her alarm clock finally did go off, Julia felt like she hadn't really slept much at all. As she rolled out of bed and finally stood up, the weight and large size of her diaper caught her by surprise. Julia remembered all of her dreams, but she didn't recall having to go to the bathroom in any of them, and she didn't remember wetting when she was awake either. But there was no mistaking it, her diaper must have been soaked. It felt much bigger than Julia was used to, so she reached down with her hand to feel it. Immediately Julia determined that she her diaper was in fact totally wet, and more importantly, it had in fact leaked a bit into her PJs. This really made Julia pause, and then her heart skipped a beat as she looked at the bed and saw that her PJs were not the only thing that was wet. There was a small, but clearly visible wet spot where she had been. Unsure what to do next, she decided to just take off her PJs and head downstairs. Luckily, Mom was already down sipping coffee and checked her diaper before anything else happened. Wow, you're really wet there honey. I'm surprised it didn't leak. Funny you should say that. Julia replied. She told her mom about the PJs and the wet spot on the bed. Shirley sighed and then told her to go strip the bed and throw the PJs in the laundry. I'll get you in clean diaper after you do that okay? I just really want to finish my coffee first. That used to be a rule back in the day you know? No diapers until after I finish my cup of coffee. Well, I guess we only did that when you were a bit older now that I think about it. But I think I might just re-implement that one. Julia stripped the bed, and took the sheets and her PJs to the laundry room. Soon after that, she was laying on her back on the changing table. Her mom was sprinkling some baby powder on her and said, Oh, and we decided it's fine for you to go to lunch. I put the permission slip in your backpack. Oh, thanks mom. Julia hadn't been sure how that was going to play out. Last night she had told her mom about D-Club and asked if she could go. Julia had not anticipated it, but Shirley had a ton of questions. Julia had done her best to answer them. Wait, who is Kate? Her mom had asked. I don't really know. She went on and explained how she had run into Kate when she was waiting to get changed and how she had seen her around and then what happened yesterday. She came to me and talked about D-Club. She seems nice. Are you sure this is for real? She said you could talk to Mrs. Barnard if you have questions. So I am supposed to just let you go off campus for lunch with total strangers? That makes me a little nervous sweetie. Julia hadn't really thought of it like that but now that she did, she thought it might explain the origin of last night's dreams. In the end Shirley had turned the tables and was making Julia decide. So you feel like you are ready to meet other kids who wear diapers? You feel like you have gotten to that point already? Yeah, well, I guess so. I mean, Kate said they all look out for each other, and that is probably a good thing right? Personally I think it's fine if you want to join this D-Club. I just want to make sure you are, you know, really ready for something like this. You haven't been wearing diapers all that long really. But if you feel like you are ready to join a club of people who wear diapers, I'm all for it. I'll just want to talk to your dad and make sure he feels the same way. Well, dad must have felt the same way Julia thought to herself.